Keely here and today I'm sharing a process video for UK Scrap Addicts. Our theme this month is a large photograph. So I've had one printed and I think it was an 8x10. Um, so it worked quite A4 so that's why I've got a border around my photo. Now I find that this page comes together really really fast. Um, because because my background is my photo, I don't really want to add too much on top of that. So I start off here with a title. Um, I'm using some thickers from, um, I think it's um, a Heidi Swap collection, Wolfpack. I think that's what it was called. Um, I got these in a Mind the Scrap kit um, quite a while ago. Um, so I use those for my title. Um, and now I'm going to um, bring in a rub arm, which was also from this collection, again, from a past man scrap kit. So I found this really a good way of using up embellishments because I don't have any papers for this collection. I just have these rub arms and these thickers. And, the, you know, using a photo as a background like this, you don't really need much. Um, so I had a rub on on top, which I was praying as I was rubbing it on that it's going to work, please work. Um, and it did, it worked beautifully. Um, and the, the rub on, um, the phrase of the rub on is like perfect for this photograph. Um, now the story behind the photo is um, we'd gone to explore our local area and it was a project that TJ had to do for, um, for class. And this was quite a while ago now. Um, and we had to walk around where we live and take some photos. And now we're very lucky that where we live, there's lots of beautiful places. Um, one being the Leeds to Liverpool Canal. Um, it's literally right on our doorstep. And it's one of TJ's favourite places to go um, to feed the ducks. Not so much now, he's, you know, he's nine now. Um, but back then, it was one of his favourite places to go. Um, so now I'm just attaching on my journaling. Usually I do my journaling um, before I file my layouts away. Um, but on this occasion, um, I wanted to show you how I was to add my journaling to this page. Now I printed my journaling off on some vellum. Um, and I've just stapled that on using my tiny attacher. Um, and I staple it on in a few little places just to make sure that um, it holds and it stays down. Um, I'm just fiddling around here trying to get the journaling and I've also printed off the date as well to add on and that's more or less my layout done. Um, I really don't need to do much else for this. I think if I was to add um, lots of embellishments and more stickers and all sorts of different things it'd just be too much but I do decide to bring in um, some of this washi tape. Now this is uh, quite old now. I think I got it in 2017 again in a Mind the Scrap kit. Um, I'm really trying to bust through some stash that I've got um, left over from you know past kits. Um, and I just tear this and it's in the same, it's like a matte silver and it's the same colour of the rub on. So it just brings that colour down to the bottom of the page as well. And I attach that onto um, the vellum um, for my journaling and it's just another way of holding it down because I didn't want to add glue onto the background um, so here's my close-ups it's a very simple layout um, but it is a really good way of using up um, bits of stash that you've had lying around for quite some time thank you for watching goodbye